tomorrow we ride. Um, we're leaving Marco Island tomorrow and we are just doing a few more things to get ready to go. We're getting better at this. So I'm going to go into the dock and uh, get some fuel and water, which I I'm crossing my fingers. I'm gonna go slow. There's a sharp turn and it's pretty tight in there. So I'm gonna have Searle help me film it. If things start to go awry, he's gonna have to be all hands on deck. So let's cross our fingers and hope that you can witness my really good docking skills. All right, well, I didn't get to film the whole thing because I needed all hands on deck. It came in pretty good. And the other thing that we're going to be doing, just swapping out the stuffing in the stuffing box, it should take just a couple of minutes. It has a drip, which they usually do, but it's just dripping a little bit more than it should be. So we're gonna go ahead and do that regular maintenance right now. Atlas is in the back. He's cheering Searle on as he trims the stuffing for the stuffing box. Let's go see what Searle's doing right now. Hello. Hello. Um, so here's the stuffing. Hopefully the boat does not just explode with water when he undoes that. Yes. Get on your perch. <laughs> Stay there. Hello. Hello, Miss Lady. While Searle is unstuffing the stuffing box, I'm gonna be over here saying a little prayer that we don't sing. <laughs> Atlas is laughing. He thinks everything's funny. Is this gonna work? Look at that, a tool for every job. Yeah, this is probably the wrong size. Can you hear that, guys? That is the sound of a bilge pump. I would like a... Scalpel? Like something flat to kind of push this in. Um, uh, <laughs> we are waiting to find out what's going to happen, so am I. Never done this before in the water. You can see our storage room behind me. We're gonna have to be sleeping in here pretty soon because my girlfriend's coming that's helping me sew the cushions. And we have like four days to clean all of this up. And I'm not stressed, I'm feeling confident. Oh, the sweet sound of no water gushing. So what's the hardest part of the job? So I definitely need to remove the old stuffing. They uh -huh. must have been in there for quite a while. And uh, probably second hardest was trying to pack the stuffing material in there. I think there must be some like rounded tool to like nicely push it back in. So <laughs> we're still battling with Squish on the deck. We are trying to locate all of the leaks on her. Let's go see if we can find them.
And the crab pods are just absolutely insane. There are so many. And you know, you have to be really careful. You can't go at night because there's no lights on them. You'll just run them over and then you're stuck. So there's really no rhyme or reason. Usually they're put into a line, but yeah, it's, I don't know. I know that fishermen have to do their fishing, but I don't know, the rules of crab pots are kind of weird to me. We're enjoying it. It's beautiful, it's dead calm. We've been motor sailing and we were making about eight knots. Now I think we're making about six. And we've decided to change our course from Marathon to Schooner Bay. And for that reason, um, we're cutting off about 20 miles. So I'm pretty stoked on that. guys 
Thank you so much for watching. We made it safely to Schooner Bay. If you guys have met me before on my pirate ship and you're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing on this little hunter? Well, the answer to that is we are doing a boat flip so that we can put brand new mass and rigging up on the 51 Formosa that I call the pirate ship. So stay tuned. We're gonna take this baby to the Bahamas. We're gonna sell her and head back to the Puget Sound when the snow melts. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week on Sailing Miss Lone Star.